All right. Um, so in this example, uh, in this example, what we're going to do is again, it's just like simplifying. Literally, literally a gem, multiplying is really not that much difficult, especially when we have multiplying using these um, rules of exponents. So, Cameron, when you're looking up here, what you guys notice, what I really want you guys to kind of get the idea of, notice that this problem has no addition or subtraction, right? All we're basically doing is multiplying this times this. So again, as I mentioned to you guys, when you're doing this, when there's no term separated by just subtract, we're just going to be using our rules of exponents. So if we're going to apply the rules of exponents, let's group things that, are, that we can apply. So what I'm going to do is, without actually doing anything, I'm going to do 16 times 9, x to the fifth times x, y to the seventh times y squared, all over 3 times 64 times x times x squared times y. Do you guys just see how I grouped everything? There's no addition or subtraction. So I can rearrange things. The same thing. 3 times 4 times 5 is the same thing as 5 times 3 times 4, right? It doesn't matter how you arrange it when it has multiplication. So I'm just arranging this so I have the numbers, my x's, and then my y's. Now, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, you can multiply 16 times 9 and 3 times 64 and then reduce the fraction. However, that I do not like to reduce after that. We, we want to see, can we simplify this on the, on the front end? And what I notice is um, here that 9 divided by 3, that can reduce down to 3 over 1. Then I want to see, well, 16 and 64, do, can I reduce that? Well, I know that 8 divides into both of those, right? 8 goes into 16 twice, and 8 goes into 64. 8 times 8 is 64. So 8 goes into 64 8 times. So I could reduce this to 2 over 8, but then I realize, well, 2 over 8 can be reduced down to 1 fourth. So what that tells me is 16 goes into 64 4 times. 1 fourth. Now it's much easier to multiply my numbers, correct? Would you guys agree with me? Sure. OK. Now there's a couple different ways you guys can do this. What I would recommend is when multiplying, is to multiply all the way across so then you have a rational expression that you can then simplify like we did the last example. So here I have 1 times 3, which is just 3. Then I have x to the fifth times x, which is x to the 5 plus 1. y to the 7 plus 2, so it would be y to the 7 plus 2. All over 1 times 4 is 4. x to the 1 plus 2, and then times y. Would everybody agree with me on that? So what I'm doing by doing that, I'm now combining the x's and the y's on the numerator and denominator. So therefore, that ends up with a rational expression of 3x to the 6th, y to the 9th, all over 4x to the 3rd over y. Now I apply the quotient rule of my rules of exponents, and I subtract the powers. So therefore, this becomes um, 3 fourths x to the 6 minus 3, y to the 9 minus 1. And since those are both going to be positive, they're going to remain in the numerator. And my final answer is going to be 3x to the 3rd, y to the 8th, all over 4.